Hey Alec here and this video is for people who are getting started freelancing who are still about to get their first clients. If you're wondering if Upwork is the right place for you to get started, in this video I'm going to talk about it. And you know, the first thing people see when it comes to Upwork, they look at it and at first glance it looks like a good place to get started. It's easy to use, it's free and it's kind of partly true and in this video I'm going to, I'm going to demystify everything that you might believe about Upwork that may be wrong and what you need to consider when it comes to choosing whether or not you actually want to get started on Upwork or other methods. And I'm going to tell you about other methods that you could use as well if you find out that maybe Upwork is not for you. So first of all, let's go into Upwork, dive deep into what are the things that it gives you and see how much it really helps you or not helps you. First of all, one of the big advantages that people see in Upwork is that it's free. You know, you can use it for free. You can, it's not like, you know, advertising when you, where you have to pay for, for views. You can actually get started today, build your Upwork profile for free, start sending proposals, and hopefully get clients. And yes, while technically you can get clients without paying to get the clients, you're kind of paying in, an, in another way, okay? What you need to understand is that Upwork do not do this like 100% free. Their goal is to make money, they're a business. How do they make money? They keep a percentage of the money that your the client pays. Basically, uh, when you're working on Upwork, Upwork is gonna keep about 20% of your profits. So you're not getting clients for free. Yes, technically, you don't have to pay to get the clients, but once you get the client, you are giving up 20% of your revenue. And a lot of the times what I tell people is that, hey, you look at this and yes, it looks attractive because it's kind of free and 20% might not look like a lot, but that's a lot more than what you'd probably have to pay for like all of your clients for the rest of the year, like um, to get like all your clients and you're basically paying uh, that much amount of fees per project on Upwork. It's actually ridiculous when you look how much it actually takes you. And a lot of people tell me that they are willing to pay that price because for them, Upwork does not only allow them to, to get the clients, it allows them to get the clients easily. And what I tell people is that actually Upwork is not that easy because while it's simple to use, while you don't need to go learn any marketing, any techniques, any, any like strategic, strategic stuff, you, you have the problem that the market is oversaturated, okay? When it comes to people who go on Upwork, Upwork has two problems. First of all, it has a reputation of the place you go when you want to get people who work for you for cheap, right? I, I don't know any business owner who, who has in his mind a vision of Upwork, you, the place you go when you want to pay more money to hire someone who's going to give you quality. Like Upwork, like the, the basic understanding of the zeitgeist of everyone is that it's the place you go to get cheap work and you need to be careful because a lot of people are probably going to give you cheap results, right? That's what Upwork is, is like in the minds of clients. So what happens is that this platform is going to attract the types of clients who are looking for cheap labor, not clients who are looking for the best people possible and are willing to pay as much money as possible. It's actually putting them away. It's actually make them, making them go away from Upwork. They don't go to Upwork because it's not what basically, it's not how they see the platform. And because of how they see the platform, and because of the way the platform is seen as the place where you go to get cheap work, it attracts people who want to get the freelancers that, are, that they're going to pay as little as possible. Which means that it's difficult for you to make a lot of money on Upwork because you're going to be in a pool where most of the clients are there because they're trying to get someone who's going to pay, get, who they're going to pay as little as possible. And the other problem you have there is that because these clients are there because they're looking for the cheapest freelancer possible and you're competing with people from third world countries like Pakistan, India, Thailand, uh, Mexico, and a bunch of different countries where they're usually willing to work for less money 
um, then people from the US, Canada, uh, Europe, and a lot of different uh, developed countries. The problem is if you are from a developed country and you try to compete with these people, there's always going to be people who are going to be willing to work for less money than you are on these platforms because they're saturated with people from develop developing countries. It's very difficult for a lot of people from developed countries to even find work on these platforms because clients are looking for the cheapest people possible and they're competing with people from third world countries who are willing to work for like $7 an hour. If you watch my recent videos, I think I've told you a bunch of times that I've been hiring a lot of people lately and I started uh, making job offers on Upwork. And if you want to get a good idea of how much uh, response, uh, how many proposals we got, how much saturation there is on the market. Like we put up uh, a job post for uh, web, de web development and within like 20 hours, we already had 92 messages and 27 proposals. It's absolutely ridiculous. So overall, like maybe Upwork has been in the past a good platform, an easy place to find clients, find jobs. It's developed in a way that so many people went onto it and so many people from uh, developing countries have started going onto it that there's so much like, there, there's so much offer when it comes to web development services compared to the amount of jobs available that first of all, it's difficult to find jobs. And second of all, people are competing on price because most of the clients attracted to Upwork our clients who are there because they're trying to find the cheapest freelancers possible. Both of these things together for me mean that it's not a good place to find clients. First of all, if it's tough to find clients, well, it's a problem. And if you're on a place where people want to pay you less money than you deserve, it's also a problem for your overall prosperity as a developer. And I don't want to scare you away from freelancing. Like freelancing is amazing. There's ways to find clients that are very easy and you know, where you can find clients that are, that, are, that are paying you well. The best thing that you can learn is trying to find companies who are not fishing for the freelancer who's going to be uh, asking, who's going to be working for the cheapest price possible. You actually wanna start finding ways to find companies who are willing to pay more money for, for uh, freelancers who are offering better quality. That's, that's how you win. You want to find the companies who are willing to spend more money, like companies that are bigger, companies who really want to make sure they have the best websites possible because they're serving hundreds and hundreds of people. They don't want to hire the cheapest person on Upwork because at that point, it, the, the, the amount of money that they're going to save in the building of the website by hiring a cheaper freelancer is actually going to be not that, not as big as the amount of money that they would have made in profit from hiring the right people. And you have to find these companies who, first of all, understand that hiring more expensive people is worth it. And second of all, you have to find them so that you know how, where to contact them and how to do it. And another thing that I don't want you to get discouraged by is I understand like you looked at Upwork and you saw this, you saw it look like very easy, simple, and you started dreaming about your freelance lifestyle. You started seeing yourself being able to find clients very soon, being able to work from home or maybe travel while, while working. Like my partner, Oliver, who's like a digital nomad. He's in Nicaragua right now and he's living like his dream. Uh, I realized like it's kind of annoying to hear that Upwork may, maybe not will not give you that. But the thing is, it doesn't mean that for you, um, getting that lifestyle is that much far away. Like the thing is, if you're feeling a little bit of anxiety about trying to find like, you know, a bit, a little bit of anxiety because you don't know how you're going to find clients, uh, you, you, you're kind of confused about it. And, and if you're afraid that maybe, you know, you're going to realize that actually like the methods that you're going to have to learn are going to be uncomfortable, difficult, or all these things, I can tell you it's not really the case. Like, honestly, like I've tried up work and you know, it works, but it's it, in all the methods that I've tried, it's both the most difficult and time consuming to put off. And, and with the method that I've started using right now in less than 10 emails, I've managed to find my first client who was willing to pay me $51 and five cents an hour. You have to find out where the high paying clients are, where the good clients are and how to contact them. And if you want to know how I do my messaging, how I find these clients, how the methods I use to, to get high paying clients. I'm actually going to start a series of videos next week 
where I'm going to teach you my methods, where I'm going to show you how I do it. So if you want to see that, you want to subscribe and go check these videos. They're, they're coming out next week. And if you're watching this video, like way in the future, like if like this is like 2023 or maybe like just a few weeks from now and the videos have already come out, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put a link in the description to the uh, playlist where you're going to see all the videos where I share with you my methods of finding clients that allow me to consistently find people who are willing to pay me around $85 an hour for my time, even though like I'm not the best uh, developer in the world, I just know where to find the good people and how to do it. And if you want to learn how to do it, just check these videos and I'll see you there. Wish you a good day.